Well, not much to say here. <laughs> Still waiting on the uh, the results of the election. I <clears throat> that's why I haven't put anything out. But you know, it is what it is, right? And um, obviously, I'm disappointed. I haven't um, been shy about who who I wanted as as our president. And and I'm not saying it's over. Um, but I'm coming to a realization that it's it 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 very well could be uh, the the results could be something that I'm not going to be too excited about. Okay, so as I was walking, as I was limping the dogs this morning on a very brief walk, um, I, the thought came to me. Uh, because my wife and I, we've been praying for, for our president for four years, both night and day. And, and then also, you know, fasting and praying for the election and, and whatnot. Um, one thing that I think was lacking in our prayers was the example of the Savior. And this came to me um, this morning. So I thought, where do we have examples of Christ praying? Now, where we can actually hear what he said, or it was recorded what, what he said. Um, of course, when he appeared to the, to the remnant of, of Jacob, uh, the remnant of Joseph in the Book of Mormon after his resurrection, um, he, he prayed quite a bit, but he went off on his own. And I think, as I recall, I could be wrong on this. I haven't really researched it super well, so some of you might help me out here. But it, it appears that not a lot was written of, of what, he, what he said. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. And, and, and it's, it's awesome. It's very tender. Um. The Lord's Prayer is, is a prayer to our Heavenly Father by Jesus Christ, but it's, it's more of Him telling us how we should pray or what things we should include. And here's, here's the thing that's interesting. I, I'm just going in, in Matthew, uh, and I know there's, there's other versions of it, but after this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forget, get, forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now, in... Third Nephi, he says, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So thy kingdom come, thy uh, was fulfilled, right? So, so we understand that. Um, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And, and then I know in the Joseph Smith translation, it, uh, there's a footnote and it's, uh, it has to do with and lead us not into temptation. And I think it's like keep us from temptation or something like that. So I, I know that. I'm not going to take time. You all know that. The key to that is inter. The, the, so, so there's a, a key phrase, but I'm going to go to one other place. And this is only recorded in Luke, as as far as I know. And this is in the Garden of Gethsemane. Saying, "Father," so this is Christ saying, "Father, if thou will, if thou let's see, if thou be willing, if thou be willing, Heavenly Father, remove this cup from me." Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Now that's interesting because in both the Lord's Prayer in the Book of Mormon 
in the New Testament, as well as in the garden, the consistent thing that's always there is thy will be done. Not mine, but thine. Or in other words, Christ himself is saying, let God prevail in my life. Christ is actually saying that. When he says, thy, thy will be done, he's saying, you, Heavenly Father, prevail in my life. So as I was thinking in my prayers recently for things I, how I wanted things to happen, I don't think I really, I might have said it but a time or two, but um, I didn't really mean it. <laughs> I wanted my will to be done. And so I think that's where we're at um, always. When we let God prevail, it's not my will, it's thine. I'm, and that, that again is letting God prevail in our lives. Now, having said that, so, so when we pray for something, do we expect to get, you know, is it always just like, uh, thy will be done? And as near as I can tell, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Um, if, we, if we truly want to let God prevail in our lives, we pray just as Christ did. He said, you know, if it's possible, remove this cup from me. Here he is, the perfect human being, half, half man, half human, I guess, and, and, and half God DNA in him. Um, he, he knows, he knows, but he's suffering so much. If there's any way. So I think it's okay to ask for things, even though we might not get the outcome, and we might even deep down know that the outcome isn't going to be right for us, that we want. And, and so it's not just the verbal aspect of saying thine will be done. It's really saying and feeling and expressing and believing that God's will will be done, and that will be the best thing that could happen. Good, better, best, right? So I've covered this scripture once before, but I think, I think this is a good one for us to look at because um, it, it really shows the Savior in everything that everything he does, it, it, he points it back to God. And he's the perfect example, so that's what we need to do. So this is in Moses Moses 4, uh, Moses 4, uh, chapter, or excuse me, Moses chapter 4, uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, verses 1 and 2. Moses chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. And I, the Lord God, spake unto Moses, saying, that Satan whom thou hast commanded in the name of mine only begotten is the same which was from the beginning. And he came before me saying, so Satan comes before God. He says, behold, here am I, send me and I will be thy son and I will redeem all mankind. That one soul shall not be lost and surely I will do it. Wherefore, give me thine honor. Okay, and here's what the Savior said. But behold, my beloved son, which was my beloved and chosen. We've talked about that a lot, haven't we? And chosen from the beginning said unto me, Father, thy will be done. And the glory be thine forever. So I've, I've done this in a previous video, but I'm going to do it again. So here we have Satan, and I'm going to put my fingers up here. Here am I, send me, and I will be thy son, and I will redeem all mankind, that one soul shall not be lost, and surely I will do it. Wherefore, 
give me, give me uh, thine honor. So six times in half a verse, Satan is an I and me guy. I or me guy, okay? And then in the second verse of chapter four, Christ, who's beloved and chosen from the beginning, said to, to the Father, thy will be done and the glory be thine forever. No I or me in Jesus. No I or me in Jesus. So, in the, in the pre-mortal life, he was, thy will be done. In his mortal life, he was, thy will be done. And as a resurrected being, he was, thy will be done. Three witnesses, three witnesses of thy will be done. So that's it. Um, we just need to move forward and, and still, you know, I'm, I'm not saying there's no chance of things working out. Oh, I've got to say this. Um, dang, I turned my phone off. But um, um, while we were all focused on the election, the United Nations just did like seven, revolution, uh, seven uh, resolutions sorry, uh, against Israel. And one of them was so key they didn't even refer to the Temple Mount, but they they condemned Israel for having uh, 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 claiming any right to the Temple Mount. But they called it something Sharif, Al Sharif, uh, blah blah blah. Anyway, it's the it's the Islam Muslim um, uh, name for the Temple Mount, and I I'm, I apologize. I had it on my phone, but I. I, I turned my phone off, but um, so they they did that, and and there were only I think nine nations that voted with Israel, the United States being one, Canada being another. Uh, you know that's all going to change. That's all going to change if if the election turns out the way it's looking. Uh, <laughs> anyway, on election day. The United Nations did that. Maybe it was the day after, but it was still the election was still going on, right? And and all all the all the uh, European Union, including England, voted against Israel. This is this is disgraceful. But anyway, things. So when we have these crazy things happen in the United States, do do the best that you can do to find out what's going on in the Middle East. Because that's usually when moves are made, when we're preoccupied and, and it's don't look here. Now, the previous administration, prior to President Trump and his administration, there was a similar resolution uh, that happened in the UN and the Obama-Biden administration, um, what did they do? They didn't vote against Israel, but they were not present. I think that's what it was. They, 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 they took the coward's way out, right? So, so this is what we're looking at. Anyway, <laughs> thy will be done. Thy will be done. So that's my message for today. Um, God bless y'all. Thank you. Uh, the ankle is still really sore, but I'm getting it's getting better and things are going OK. And and we we will uh, get through it. Now, this could this could escalate things quite rapidly <laughs> um, concerning the second coming of our Savior. So that's another blessing. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to that, not hoping that we have a little more time. I'm, I'm good. It could happen tomorrow and I'd be great with that. So anyway, um, let's, let's let God prevail. His will be done, but continue to ask him for the things that we feel like we need in our lives. And obviously spend more time thanking him than asking. And that's it.